I think I have a pretty fun video tonight, guys. I want to show how I make these wallpapers for my multi-monitor setups. They're really neat because I crop and cut them so that the wallpaper looks like it fits just so on all the monitors. You can change the cropping dependent on where your monitors live and you can get these beautiful backgrounds. Anyway, what do you say? Let's dive on into the screen capture and see what this fuss is all about. Okay, rock stars, this is my favorite website for finding ultra wide wallpapers. And inside of this web page, we're going to find everything that we need. The owner of this site also posts in a Reddit forum once a week with his special ultra wallpaper finds. Anyway, just for this video, uh, we'll come down here and we can see, you know, some recent wallpapers, top wallpapers, top this week, etc., etc. At any rate, I found this site through the Reddit posts where he drops like seven really cool ultra white wallpapers a week. But for this one, we can just select top wallpapers. And you know, you can go through here and find ones that you really like. These are all like, I think at least 5,000 by 2,000 pixels. Um, but at any rate, I'm just gonna pick one that might be easy to copy. Yeah, like this, this might be good. So we'll work with this ultra wide wallpaper. Now you can download the full 32 by nine image, but Mac OS doesn't have an easy way for your computer to chop that up and put it on all three of your monitors correctly. So you notice in my setup, I have a main 32 inch 4K monitor in the center. And on either side, I have a vertical display 1080p monitor. So let's click here, crop and download for my display. To show how I do this, I'm gonna drag this window to my monitor on the left, the vertical display one. So I'll switch the recording. And yeah, now you notice I'm on that vertical monitor over here. And we can see up here, this is ultra wide wallpapers cropping tool. You can see right now, there's the entire wallpaper and we have this selected to a 16 by nine monitor art frame. And that will be our center monitor. I'm sure you have one main monitor and you can use this crop. But first things first, I'm gonna take another screenshot. For this, I'm just gonna come over here and grab this little box. This isn't like exactly necessary, but it'll help us get an exact crop for either the left or the right hand sides of this. So we can select exactly where in our photo or wallpaper we want to make those. So I'm gonna copy this and then I'll open it up. I'll bring it on over here. Now that's not exactly the same size. Here we go. We can make that the same size. Boom. It's almost perfect. I guess I could go down just a nip. There we go. Okay. We'll move that out of the way real quick. And since I'm going to save these crops, I want the left hand screen to be crop number one, the big one to be crop number two, and the third one to be crop number three. I'm going to change this 16 by nine to nine by 16. See how that changed there? But now, since I have this screen capture from before, I can use that to pick the exact uh, spot. And I'll know that it's in the right place because I have this main one down here. See what I'm saying? You got it? So then we'll come down here and we'll click Q crop. Okay. Drag this down. Now we'll go back to 16 by nine. That's already in the correct space. So we can just click that Q crop again. That's for our main monitor. And you guessed it. Back to nine by 16 for me. And I'll use my little gauge over here and I'll know exactly where to click that. Boom, click Q crop. Now I have three and now we can download all queued crops. It came out in crops.zip, which then if I open that up in a finder window that I can drag over here, we can close the screenshot down now. Here I have a crops.zip. I can unzip that and then check that out. I have three files that'll fit my monitors exactly. I've been able to use this website and all the really cool ultrawallpapers.net backgrounds to make some pretty exciting stuff. That's it guys, this one's really simple, but for me, it solved a problem that I had. I hated messing around in GIMP or Adobe and creating these uh, cropped up files, but I found a good solution in ultrawallpapers.net. 
Let me know if you think this is cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the Tech Heart channel. And to end the video, I'm gonna give us a montage of a few of the ultra-wide wallpaper crops that I've created. All right, guys, that's it. Have a kick-ass day, and don't forget, click that button below. Got a Commodore in the corner, Apple do on my desk. Three Amigas in the closet, man, this shit's such a mess. Terminal's always open, on 777 I confess. Tech heart beating faster when I'm adding to my nest. Oh, beep up. Where's my tech heart gonna put it all? Running out of gigabytes and walls. Where's my tech heart gonna store this shit? Another vintage find that's making me legit. Let his box is running hot now. Got that red hat on my mind. SSD stacked to the ceiling. TCP.